Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. Here's uh, an email if there was anything that you ever want to know or help me help you with Xactimate or Civility. Uh, so my email address is Hector Mendoza Justin at Yahoo.com. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what we're gonna do today. Oh, let me get, uh, I've only got 15 minutes that I allow myself to do this little uh, classes. So, here. So, if it doesn't take me longer than 15 minutes, I'll further uh, show you some other stuff that are not really, really important, but I'll show you anyway. <clears throat> so, we're going to copy photos and, you know, of course, exactly what we call some images from one project to the other. I will show you how to export an image from a project and then import it into a different project. I'll uh, show you how to import photos into Xactimate. Plus, I will show you how to copy image from one profile to another because you can transfer images, Xactimate, uh, you know, sketches, uh, uh, Eagle views, they have to be from the same profile, but I'm going to show you how to get around that. So let's get down to it. So here we go. Uh, hopefully I can do this in less than 15 minutes. So <clears throat> I have a uh, project here. Let me see which one's the one that has photos. Okay. So this project has close to 100 images, and those images, okay, wait, let, here, let, let, uh, that's not the one I want, the one I really want, okay, so you see these images, <clears throat> This image is, um, there's a bunch of them here, okay? Uh, so here, let me re-number them so I can show you how many there is. There are 142 images. And if you've been out there in the field and you've <clears throat> labeled them, Put a description on them. 142 is a lot of a lot of work you did, and um, and you, it can get overwhelming when you're out there. Okay, so now, so I've already saved this images, and all of a sudden, it's the wrong claim. Trust me, it can happen to you. It can. Ha uh, maybe there's some smart, smart people out there. It's never happened to them. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me how to do this, so it it's not doesn't happen all the time. And speaking of, before I continue, so you know there's a, a program called Settle Assist, and I've gone you know I've ta uh, talk about this all the time because there's some uh, carriers that require us to use uh, Settle Assist when we're not just labeling photos but also doing the estimate. So. If that ever happens, when you open up a uh, uh, settle assist, there's an 800 number, you can call them, but make sure, before you call them, make sure you know the, the insured name, uh, both insured names, both uh, claim numbers, so that they can transfer the data from one to the other. Because when that data gets transferred, it's already going to be labeled and the descriptions are going to be there. So, <clears throat> but now, so let me show you how you can do it without even having to call them because now you're going to spend another 20, 30 minutes explaining stuff when you can do it a lot faster. Okay, so, um, uh, it's, yes, I don't know what that one was. Okay, so, <clears throat> So I've already created a, 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 
a claim. Well, first of all, the ones that have the photographs, you see right here where it says, uh, it says 1524, Mr. and Mrs. Insured, non-components, and then it has a profile of Liberty Mutual. This is just a fake uh, project. <clears throat> so let's say that I wanted to bring it into this other uh, project that I called it uh, photo scan, photo scans carrier. Okay, so let me, so remember it's a 15, uh, uh, so the the claim number uh, the claim is fifteen twenty four. So well, we need to go by the project. So it's non components, okay? So let me let me write that uh, non no components. Okay. So so I'm I'm on the new uh, I'm I'm on the new claim, <clears throat> and then I want to import that. Those images that I've already spent an hour working on, I go into projects, and then I say copy from projects. Okay, so you know right here it says copy from, and then I'm gonna uh, uh, I'm just gonna type no C. <clears throat> if it was there, <clears throat> it would have showed up. For instance, let's say that I'm looking for uh, uh, Paul, Paul Mathis. You see, it shows up because it has the same profile. But the one that I really want from is the, you know, uh, it starts with NOC. It's not there because it, there are two different pro, uh, uh, profiles. Now, so, to show you, eight minutes, okay, so, um, <clears throat> so now, I, I can fix that problem. So, before I even do that, let me show you, let me open up a Liberty Mutual. So, uh, the, okay, so now, I'm going to open up another project, and that one has the same profile, right? So, I want to show you how that works. Okay, so, for instance, let me make sure there's no photos here. Okay, I'm gonna delete all those photos. Okay, because uh, I've been showing other people. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna close, save and exit. Okay, so now, so again, so if I open it up, I go into images, there's no images, right? Okay, so, but let's say I want to copy it from that other uh, uh, um, project. I can go into projects, go into copy from, go into uh, uh, let me see here. <clears throat> Uh, Liberty Mutual. Oh, uh, here, fifteen fifteen twenty four. Okay, there we go. So you see there's that project. So I hit okay. Now there's a lot of things you can copy, but all we worried about are the images. Okay. So I'm gonna click on images, hit copy. Now <clears throat> When you do this, keep in mind, when you bring it in there, it's gonna save it. Cause you can, if the, the, even if the project is open and you close it, you don't have to save as or, or anything. It automatically saves it into the document. So let me show you. So I'm gonna hit copy. Now, you see the document's closed. Well, it opened up, but look. Uh, come on. There's all the images. Now I'm going to close without even saving. Okay, I'm going to close there. So I see I didn't save nothing, right? But when I open up the project, look.
the images are there. And I didn't have to save nothing because when you import doing that way, it is going to automatically save the images and the file. So keep that in mind. If you don't want to do it, be careful what you're doing. Okay, now I've got five minutes. So now let's say that, um, <clears throat> so I'm, I don't need that project no more. Delete it. Okay, so um, now. Oh, why is it taking so long? Oh, because 140 picked up photos. Okay, so <clears throat> now I got that. Remember, if I try to bring them in here, because it's a carrier, it is not going to bring them in there. So watch what I'm going to do. I am going to open up. Not, I'm not going to open it. I'm going to click on this claim, you know, the carrier profile uh, claim. I'm going to right click. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to call this um, photos to copy uh, just, just to copy, right? But look what I'm going to do. I am going to change it to the carrier profile and hit OK. It's just duplicating that whole project and it flipped it over to the carrier profile. Okay, now, now, so now I have this, um, this claim that I, I couldn't import earlier. Got three more minutes. So remember, there's no images, correct? Now, watch what I can do. I can go in and go to project. I can copy from a project. I can, uh, what did I name it? Uh, copy. Yeah, copy or oh, photo, photos copy. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hit OK. And all I want is the images. There's a lot of things I can do with that project, but I'm just going to copy the images. I'm going to copy it now. Now, it closed it. It's going to open it up. Look at that. There's all the images. And that was from a different profile. Now I've got two more minutes to talk about something. Oh, okay. So another way that you can copy things from one project to another is I can select as many as I want, or I'm just going to select a, a few of them because I only got two more minutes. So I'm going to select all of those, right? I'm going to export. And then I'm going to go into my desktop, and I'm just going to call it image zip. Save or replace so, you, so I can show you. Now uh, I'm going to close there. Uh, I'm going to close that window. Close that window. So now you see those four images? that we had earlier, if I view extra large images, those are the images that we, the reason you can't see the images because it's compressed. So let's create a new folder and let's uncompress it. Come on. The machine slows down whenever uh, you, you're do, uh, recording. There you go, finally. Okay, so hit control V. Uh, I'm just going to call it new folder. Okay, so I'm going to. It's because I try to put a, a, a name on there. Okay, so. Okay. So, oh, it did. It, it, it actually opened them up. Okay, so. There's the images, and I, it's just new folder, right? So now you can go into Xactimate and grab any uh, any file. Let me see. Hopefully, there's no uh, there's no uh, images here. Images, perfect. Now, two ways that I can copy in, copy them. You know. 
uh, I can load image, go to the folder, select all of them, hit open, or let me delete those. Hit, uh, are you wanting to delete? Yes, close. Now I'm going to um, Uh, I want to be able to go to the desktop, so um, I'll close this. Okay, my time's up. Close. Okay, so now you can go into Xactimate. You can go to your photos. You can actually just select them all, stick them in there. You know, there's a lot of ways of copying, but this is some of the easy way. Okay, everybody. Hopefully, that'll help you out when you get out there and uh, you have this problem. Sooner or later, it might happen. So just remember that you have this video. Thank you for watching my video. And I hope you see a bunch of my other videos that I have out there. Thank you.